Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Positively Energizing Leadership, a creation by Kim Cameron. Positively Energizing Leadership 2022 is a practical guide that helps organizational leaders and employees comprehend and utilize the potential of positive energy in their actions and interactions. By providing empirical data and practical tips, the book seeks to enhance innovation, profitability, and compassion both in the workplace and in personal life. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Kim Cameron, PhD, holds the position of a professor of management and organizations at the esteemed Ross School of Business at the University of Michigan. Renowned for his groundbreaking research on positive leadership, he has authored over 140 academic articles and 15 books focusing on the profound ability of moral excellence to bring about transformative change within organizations. With five key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, this text is the invitation to learn about the benefits of positive energy and virtuous practices. The focus is on the empirically validated value of these concepts. The text discusses the current state of society, which is filled with fear, mistrust, injustice and disasters. As a response to this, the industry of positive thinking has grown with numerous books promising happiness. However, the problem with this happyology is that it encourages people to pretend to be happy while ignoring their true emotions. The author argues that life is complex and involves hardship and sadness, and that forcing positivity can do more harm than good. Instead, the author suggests a different approach called positively energizing leadership that focuses on the relationship between positive energy and light and how leaders can use this to help people and groups thrive. Key idea number one, positive energy is beneficial in driving us to take positive actions. However, accessing its full potential requires conscious effort on our part. A 2005 study found that patients recovering in a sunny room had lower pain levels compared to those in an artificially lit room. Sunlight also has restorative properties for people with depression. Sun exposure has been used medicinally by various cultures throughout history. Light and virtue are connected both metaphorically and biologically. Light regulates circadian rhythms, while disruptions to sleep can lead to health issues. Similarly, virtue has positive physiological effects. We tend to focus more on negative relationships, but positive experiences have a stronger impact on behavior. Focusing on positive, life-affirming energy can lead to positive change. Key idea number two, heliotropic energy is built upon generosity and altruism. Virtuous and positive behavior leads to physiological healing and positive outcomes in interpersonal and group relations. Encouragement recognition, security, and support help people thrive. Giving more positive energy than receiving predicts success and brings rewards. Studies show that focusing on giving back to the community is a powerful predictor of success. Spending money on others lowers blood pressure and reduces mortality risk. Shifting the focus to the positive impact made can improve motivation and engagement. Leaders should create opportunities for mentoring and coaching to cultivate heliotropic energy and grow the strength and skills of their team. Key idea number three. Trust is built through a combination of integrity and sacrifice. Sweden was able to avoid a full lockdown during the COVID-19 pandemic due to its culture of high trust in institutions and civic society. In contrast, the U.S. had astronomically high death rates and low levels of trust in political parties, big companies, employers, and other citizens. Trust is developed from infancy through nurturing and can be damaged through neglect. Two key components of building trust are integrity, which involves consistent patterns of transparency, accountability, and reliability, and sacrifice, where individuals give up something for the good of others. Trust is like an emotional bank account, 
with acts of kindness as deposits and violations of expectations as withdrawals. Building trust requires consistently making more deposits than withdrawals in relationships. Key idea number four. In conclusion, research has shown that positively energized organizations have higher creativity, motivation, health, and self-regulation, as well as lower absenteeism and turnover rates. Despite potential skepticism, the benefits of positively energizing leadership can greatly enhance even the most challenging circumstances. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.